And we bring you the final part of the series, Surviving Breast Cancer, where Enno Essien, the founder of Raytrack, shares her journey from discovering to getting treatment, fighting, and eventually surviving breast cancer. Now, it's our hope with this series that you would check your breasts more often. Please do the physical exam, more especially after your period, because that is when you would be able to discover whatever is there. And you would not know if something is abnormal if you haven't been doing it often. So when you do it often, you know what is normal, so that when something is out of place, you'll be able to discover it. It is our thoughts, our hopes, and our prayers that anyone who is currently battling cancer, that they find courage and they find hope, they find healing, and they kick cancer because cancer sucks. So enjoy the interview of NOSN. of my treatment involved lumpectomy so i would say that i was fortunate enough to still have my breast my take on it is if it is going to save your life they are just breasts take them up let that not be a limiting factor <music> I had the pastor wasn't my family, but I was comfortable with him. He understood with me. He encouraged me. He would tell me, open your mouth and speak to your body. You know, I got that support for me. So wherever you can find support. The thing about telling people is for you, I don't want to say to somebody and then they're giving me the negative. If, if, even with in business, you want to start up a business, you could tell somebody and they will kill, they'll give you 100 reasons why you shouldn't do it. So for me, I didn't need the negative support. People feel comfortable talking about it. I mean, there are people who document their journey on social media now. If it's fine, it's taken me seven years to talk about this. So if it's fine, whichever way works for anyone. But Cancer is something you shouldn't go through alone. Everyone needs support. And I got that support from my family. When I was leaving, what I said was I was going to school, I was going to take a course, you know. And then, interestingly, cancer made me a happier person. It made me enjoy, I had been going through life, I realized that I wasn't even enjoying my life. So throughout the duration of my treatment, I would have treatment, I'm ill five to seven days. By the end of the sickness, we're off. Maybe we're going, we'll go on a boat cruise, we'll go to adventure and we were doing things. So I was having fun trying to live my life. I remember going to, went to um, the beach at um, South End and I was packing to the beach. As soon as we got to the beach, I wore a bikini. I took off my clothes, you know, I was just happy to just walk, you know, I was, I was living. And it was making my mom and my, they were happy to see me leave. I chose that because I, I read a scripture that says the strong spirit of a man will see him through in his infirmity. And it was practical. When I was scared, I was falling sick. But when I was happy, I was, when I'm going for um, treatment, I will make up, I will dress up, and I will go to the hospital. I documented everything. I was not, it wasn't a, I wasn't sad like I'm dying. I never thought that. After the first two weeks where I got the bad news, I needed to lift my spirit up. I'll go shopping, I'll sit there and say, okay, when I go back to Nigeria, I'm going to wear this shoe, you know. I bought a diary for the next year because I knew I was going to leave. And I had seen in my Bible here that it, it's not God's will for me to die. You know, he, uh, he wishes above all things that I'll prosper and be in health. So I was so sure that I was going to go through it and I was going to survive it. So my spirit did play a lot of role. When I went through, after the chemotherapy, I then went through radiotherapy, which was now every day for 20 days. So we're going to the hospital every day. It was draining. We're moving from one part of London to the other part. The journey was really long. It was so draining. The, the chemotherapy process, it made me really very weak, you know. Okay, so my life this last seven years, 
I've tried to live a normal life. I was told, my doctor consistently keeps saying to me, you have to be normal, you have to live a normal life. I go for checks twice a year. I still take tamoxifen and I try to take care of myself. Now, you know, for, I believe, when they say early detection, I always used to hear that early detection saves lives. Honestly, early detection does save life. I would say that we need to do the self-examination. The self-examination is two things. You're doing it, your mindset in it is important because if you're doing it because you're trying to look for a lump, you would find the lump. So what I would advise is during the self, um, during the the check during the self check as you're checking it you need to learn to speak to your body you know just speak healing to your body speak that you're doing this thing and everything is okay with you and you're healed and you're whole it's very important now another thing too that tipped me off was the bill fortunately i went to the hospital i went to the hospital with little or no money because you know i said i thought i was going to come in um pay my do the treatment and pay the bills afterwards you know so when they give me that shock i had to say to them we need to work out a payment plan because i mean i'm i couldn't afford the treatment you know and the hospital was extremely very supportive extremely very supportive they agreed to my terms they never asked me about it i mean i could have left without even paying they never asked me anything about it and by the time the treatment was done i had completed paying my bills you know so they were very supportive now last seven years i tried to live very normally i tried to make the best i believe i have 50 more years according to scriptures you know i'm trying to make every day of those years count i try to live i lost my hair like totally so now when i do my hair and i mean i flick my hair they don't understand because I totally lost my hair. My nails, I was, I lo even to the roots, everything came out. When I grow my nails and I'm flaunting my nails, they don't understand the pain. I've been through it. I totally lost my nails and my nails are valued to me. My food, I like to go out a lot. I like to eat. I take pictures of the food. They cannot understand. There was a time that I just couldn't even eat food. So now that I see this, now that I'm living my life, I'm trying to make every second count you know nobody knows the pain that i have gone through so i want to live happily and do things that make me happy and my family my family played an exceptional role i mean they basically my mom was running a phd in uni lag she put it on hold and came to stay with me in the uk my sister living i mean my sister taught me how to live with people. My, they were all, they all played roles. Even my niece, my little niece then, I think she was um, about five or so, you know. During the surgery, after the surgery, there were exercises I needed to do to ensure that I could still make use of my hands and functions in my body, you know. She would come and stand with me, try to do the exercises, even like ginger me to do the exercises. So all of them, everybody played an exceptional role. My brother was in and out of the UK. The path of the righteous gets brighter. So I have greater years ahead. You know, I need that bit. I have greater years ahead. So I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm not <laughs> I'm not afraid of the future because I know who holds my future. So if you need comfort, I mean you can't um downplay the role of support. I had support. If you need comfort, I'm really happy. You can always send me a DM. I'm happy to speak to you. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to make you laugh. Honestly, I've been through it. I know what you're going through. I've been through it as well. And I can assure you, you will rise above it. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.